When I was growing up, I had a real interest in working with Indigenous communities and in ancient history. So when I went to university, I went about studying ancient history and anthropology, where I was uh, working on Indigenous issues. And that's where I discovered archaeology, that um, I took an archaeology subject in my first year of university and never looked back. Uh, and went right through and did my uh, honours and PhD in archaeology. I guess, like a lot of people, I didn't really know what archaeology was. And so archaeology is the study of the human past. So it's got nothing to do with dinosaurs. It's all about people and how we came to be what we are today. So that's really what my main interest is. So studying archaeology brought two of my major loves together, studying the past and working with Indigenous communities. At the moment, my major projects um, involve working with Indigenous communities across the north of Australia. In particular, I'm working a lot with Kaidald and Lardal people in the Wellesley Island archipelago in the southern Gulf of Carpentaria. And what we're doing there is trying to understand when people first colonised those islands. So there's an archipelago of about 30 islands. And one of the big questions we have is, at what date did people first colonise those islands from the mainland? And what happened after they colonised those islands? And the reason we want to understand that is to understand how people modify their environments when they come to a new place. And we think this is very important research to do because around 50,000 years ago, Aboriginal people first colonised Australia. And we don't really understand what happened when Aboriginal people colonised Australia. So what we want to do is try to understand what Aboriginal people did when they colonised island environments as an analogue for what those changes might have meant on the continent of Australia, which is obviously a much bigger landmass. Another project I'm working on is refining radiocarbon dating. Radiocarbon dating is quite an old technique developed in the late 1940s, but we're still developing new ways to refine the technique. And we have a strong research program at JCU which is continuing to make radiocarbon dating more accurate. And one of my research interests working in Northern Australia and around the coastline is how we can make radiocarbon dating of marine shellfish more accurate. So a lot of my research at the moment is involved in monitoring the types of foods that uh, shellfish eat uh, and how that is manifest in their skeletons in the shell and then radiocarbon dating those shells to find out uh, the constituents of it in order to improve our dating of materials from the past. So these techniques are really at the forefront of uh, archaeological science and are being adopted by people beyond Australia and helping to refine our understandings of the archaeology of the pasts of societies around the world and I think that's really exciting.